premise. Before so I like, forget, I did want to. I wanted to ask you guys something, like a, mm. a, a, an opinion question, uh, completely different. But I'd like to hear each of your takes on it. Oh yeah. Um, how do you feel? Let's just say if uh, us four, like, pulled up to uh, the mall or a movie theater, we got a time to catch, uh, and we're at the pull up to the movie theater, and we're driving down this row. And it's just like, you know, if we just go two more cars, turn right, and then right, we'll be on the other row. But there's people looking for cars. How do you feel about one of us getting out of the vehicle and taking up the spot? No, no, no. Not only that, like, like <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to retell the story, but like in fast forward is what he would say. Taylor, Taylor's dad sent him to get a man who was a boy, a kid, teenager out of the spot. The guy was standing, taking a spot. Taylor grabbed the guy, picked him up, got him out of the fucking way. And Taylor's dad rolled into the spot. And I'm not talking about 20 years ago. I'm talking about like five years ago. This was like yes. a, well, five yes. years ago. <laughs> I'm no. on the other side of this. Uh, I think that if we're on this mission. And we have the parking lot champion with us. We take advantage of that. <laughs> Put him in the spot. I didn't know. I didn't know. I dare you to move. Taylor, we've wait, wait. seen your defense. How's your offense? Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't know we had a parking Straight lot up. champion. That's a phenomenal like, see three Going and into the into the that. movie theater, putting a mouth guard in. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor gets down in a three point <laughs> stance. Wait, wait. Taylor's not with us now. O line. Would yeah, you go was... stand in the spot? No, no. no I I removed that guy. From the spot as a way to restore order to parking. Oh, you and didn't take the spot yourself. I, we no, we took it because he was oh. attempting to reserve he didn't have under a car. false pretenses. He didn't have a car. So you, you he was went just to, you standing removed, there. But you removed him on false. I pretenses. removed him no, no, no. physically he because he was foot. not in a car. He was on foot. He was standing in a spot reserving it for it's someone. Not a and then I, not I a moved him. This is the best. I this restored best. order, and I would never <laughs> use my powers to to. So reserve seats. I'm not about that. Get there early if you want to reserve seats. Let's be respectful to everyone else. It's selfish to just have one person there reserving seats. Seinfeld figured this out 25 years ago. It's it's. I don't care for it. Don't like it. What you, Wait. So if you got into the theater, I wasn't talking about that. Spot, right here. And I'm gonna have a picnic in a parking spot. I'll put t I'll put a quarter in the meter. No, yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, what I do is I go in and I go, everyone. When you brought, up, <coughs> when you brought up something, you brought up something <laughs> that I, I felt about it was like I was having this debate with my friends and I was like, I wouldn't do that. Mm. I wouldn't go stand in the spot. But if I were driving down the spot and someone used the buddy system to take the spot, I'd be like, huh. And I would keep going. All right, so, I wouldn't so say I shit. I wouldn't do shit. I, I, I sure as hell shit. would go if my dad told me to pick that fucking kid up and move him. I would be like, yes, father. Um, but, <laughs> but other than that, like, I'm like, fair play. Like, this is the Wild West it out depends. here. Yeah, it depends on the situation, right? Like, like, I'll say this. If I saw that now, I would just move along because I am a felon. And, I, I can't, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and the law is probably going to side with whoever I get into the scuffle with in the parking lot. And it is just a parking spot. However, I can imagine a time when I was younger and maybe my boys were with me when we would not have put up with that sort of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, I could totally see an ass. Are thing. you allowed to do that? No. Like, like, I'll say this. If I did it, I would know that I was doing wrong. I, all jokes aside... I am actually on the other side of this, or at least I was. Where I really am is if I saw someone do it, I would just drive by. It's a parking spot. I don't give a fuck. Yes, exactly. But having it just on ethically, I don't see why sitting in a parking spot is any different than holding the movie theater seat. Next you can't do me. that either. Oh, my friend's getting popcorn. You know, these are the two. These are the seats oh, for he oh. and I. Well, okay, well, that's the, the getting, seat right next up, to yeah. me. Like, what do you want to sit next to me, Woody? Like, 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 there's a young lady, and you don't think she, you're like, you sitting down next to a like, young lady, and she's like, This is actually my boyfriend's chair. And he's like, Hey, where's he? <laughs> like, 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 you, <laughs> you know, are that's wrong. Technically like, you know, that's wrong. Down, but you it, but in my like, mind, I know that they're both like ways to reserve things. I, I don't see here's why. How you, reserve... Here's how you work. Here's how I work it out when I want to do one of these moral quandaries. I think I put my loved one or myself in like the quasi victim situation. I'm like, Oh, okay. So my mother's at the movie theater and she's watching a, a film with my sister. And no, wait, go to the parking. A, a grown ass parking forty, a fifty year old man comes in because he wants to watch Star Wars alone in the middle Almost of the day. Almost fifty. Almost <laughs> pushing fifty. Pushing and and, pushing and he, hard. Sit, he flicks the the seat thing down next to my mother, the armrest, and plops down next to her and starts 
starts eating and muting his phone. And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. This my daughter's sitting here. And I don't hear so well out of the right side anymore. So I like to lean to the left, you know, when we whispered. And you're like, lady. Silly bitch. I'm sounds like here. it was you pretty, I'm your daughter. Sounds like <laughs> He's pretty to important say that, that, that the seat get filled by your daughter. Where <laughs> is she? I, I, I think she needed to relieve herself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. can't handle her water, eh? <laughs> can't handle her <laughs> like a woman. <laughs> no, Woody's allowed like, to sit I there. Mean, and if she's like, that's my daughter seat, he's allowed to be like, no, I'm sitting here. Like, I mean, that honest, is. I, I honestly see reserving a seat as a fair and normal thing to do. Like, look, I we do got as here well. first. I, I think, do as well. And I, I think you I could sit in the movie park theater spot as a parallel. If you were no. standing in that spot, I don't know why. They're not even. I, I think we're we're muddying traffic. the water a little too much because, like, we need to remember. Like the initial thing was like someone dropping someone else off at the theater to have them run in and be like, four seats, these are ours." That's unacceptable. If Woody, you're going into a theater and you're with Jackie and you go in first because she has to pee, that's not reserving a seat. You're there. It's like this no. is where my wife and I are. Body sitting. system can, works. Can, I think can I, I, help with this? I, I, I would it. do the movie it. theater seat. I'm the person of, the amongst difference. my friends that would sit in the theater and I would drape my jacket across six. Oh, and I'd be like, oh, these six, these <laughs> you few pieces of shoes. <laughs> no, no. What do you mean? What do you mean? We're you six people. Four. We're six people. Six, so here's your your coat choice, pal. Here's then your choice, why are pal. No, let me help you out. Let me do it your way. My <laughs> six friends will sit here. We'll wait for the movie to start. And then one by one, we'll go in the middle of the fucking movie for you and go get snacks. Is that a better experience, I mister? I see what you're doing. Do you yeah, want right. to do that? Because let's do it that way. Then guys, come. No, we have to sit. We have to wait for the movie to start. And then we'll disrupt it for everyone else. So but we're all here. Is we're all here, and, though. So what you're saying is you and your friends would conspire against the other uh, Don't patrons. Don't say me and my friends sort of conspire. You can't say <laughs> Well, that. no, you'd get but together I'm and you'd have the that. sort of plot, if you will, a plan. <laughs> and you'd, start, a second, but, uh, you'd uh, figure out a way to manipulate the system <laughs> where if they didn't do exactly what you wanted to do, then it would be so... Look, look you're not breaking doing one also right now? But you're, it's going to be so inconvenient for you to do business in our world, the chosen <laughs> the, for these six seats, chosen for these six seats. Who or, made the movie? What <laughs> made the movie? <laughs> That's true. Jews should get first choice in every you movie know, where the Jew directed to explain it. that he Connor bought forever. the ticket. He's opening the exit door for his five friends. <laughs> 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 That's why they're not there already. Yeah. I mean, you'd get in first in line Wait, everywhere. Because... I was, I was, I was thinking the parking lot thing because the parking lot is like now we're dealing with the law, but but this the movie theater is more. We're not. No, 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 no. West. It's not the law. Okay. So first of all, parking lots are private property. the The laws of the road don't pertain to them. You fuck those stop signs. Roll right. But what about? But but what, impeding traffic? Can you tell me what a, to do here. JC Penny. You what? What the JC Penny can tell me? Yield or not yield? Fuck you. No, no, no. You're not the DMV. So if. <laughs> If you um, oh, remind, remind me three seconds. I'm real stoned. Uh, we were saying we were in the theater reserving six seats across. Oh, so but, in a theater, we're paying money, right? And a lot, right? It's like twenty, twenty-five dollars, depending where you are. The parking space is a little bit more like a park bench in some ways. Like I, I wouldn't sit on a park bench and then give somebody guff if they wanted to sit down next to me and eat their lunch. Like, like it's a park bench. If I don't like doubling up with somebody, I need to get my ass up. Cause what if you're lying down bench. on the park bench? We're back in the Wild West. Then you're a now, fucking no bum. Sure, you lie, but, but you're allowed to, no? Lie on the no, park bench? No, bums get, bums get animal rules. You shoo them away and you <laughs> spritz them with what water. If it's Woody? <laughs> what if it's not a bum? It's Woody. He just hurt his leg and he needs to lie down and rest. And he's lying you on the park bench. You know how expensive bench. Woody's shoes are? I'd spot him right away. <laughs> <laughs> but would like, you come up and I'd be like, like hey, Buddy, sit up. I mean, look, it's, a, it's a fellow white. We have a we have a thing. Uh, like, 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 you think y'all have a thing? Like, I see a fellow good white out there, and I'm like all about like. I, I'll see them. I'll see their like their special ring while they're like pushing their car on the side of the road. I'll cut. I'll cut off three Mexicans and a black guy just to get over there and help him push mm. that car. I had a real racist joke the other day. I don't know if it's racist or not. You tell you? me. Um, nah. But I thought it was funny nonetheless. So I had, I, and I told Taylor this. I think maybe off the. Sure. Maybe I said it anyway, but I hold on. You know, wait, let me prepare to not laugh in case this gets clear. okay. All right, try hard. <laughs> clear your mind. Not funny, not funny. The Holocaust, <laughs> Holocaust. It was real. It was real. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never forget. I, we had a book in my house what, what growing up called We had a book in my house growing up called And God Cried. 
and on the back of it was a pile of the bodies like 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 jokes aside like like yeah it's not funny stuff i mean hundreds of thousands <laughs> of <laughs> it's who's to say god damn it rewind me just a little bit i've got this you were, uh, you were, you were dabbling joke. you got a racist joke a couple of days ago yeah oh so so i i had to get the water line worked on in my in my yard right and uh they said it's the third crew in a row it's a true story it's third crew take in a care row icarus after. yeah it's third, <laughs> <laughs> it's third. you've heard the joke it's not that bad right no. all right so it's third it's third crew in the row in, the, in a row right two white guys have tried to fix this before just to be fair like i'm you know across the board the two white guys fucked up both times they they dug the hole they worked on the line they fixed it supposedly and it leaked again why well, look out the window who's out there working on it mexican and a black guy and at first time I'm, I'm like hmm this, this might work out this might work out but no it's exactly like you'd think it would be they worked hard then quit early there's still a big fucking hole out there deep as shit they worked hard digging that hole then they just <laughs> fucking quit early as they would and the, now I've just got a big koi pond in my yard. That it looks more like a meteor struck, and then it rained in it. With no koi. So you don't even have a nice uh, Japanese artistic chic to your home. No. No, it's all. You just have a mud hole. Uh, did I, I tell you guys uh, my... <laughs> uh, that's uh, city uh, utility workers. Uh, me too. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the, the, the plumbers. The plumbers. plumbers, those fucking plumbers with their, <laughs> with All their of affirmative them. actions and they're like just trying to like dog whistle as plumbers. That'd be funny. <laughs> Me too when I want to be. <laughs> Some... <laughs> Jewish people are white. What are you talking about? I feel like the what a white person it has gotten more exclusionary over time. It's gotten less exclusionary over time. It People used to like, be that oh, the yeah, Irish. I'm not white. No, I'm not white. I'm gay. The Irish only I got me white. Got, I'm gay. Don't we call didn't, me white. The <laughs> Irish were <laughs> excluded for a long time. The Irish, the Italians, the Jews, the Turks. Like, what, they're all part of the family now. What, what, come on. You're going back farther than I am. I'm saying, like, uh -uh. I think 10 years ago, it. Oh. Like Jewish people were clearly white, light skinned Indians were white, uh, certain Mexican guys no, were have, white. I have literally black Jewish friends that are like 100% fully Jewish and they are fully black people. Well, they're not white. Yeah, but we're talking about no. white. <laughs> <laughs> I think a good thing is like you are white if the person next to you says white power and the other people around you also go, yeah, white power. That's never how you me. feel <laughs> is the litmus test of how white or not you are. I get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I would be like, <laughs> that is like fucking... white power. And I like look around. The next guy's like, he's right. I'd be like, huh? This doesn't yeah. happen. I mean, obviously, in the pre show, no, it does, it's, it's, it it's, does it, but yeah, but that's Alfred, how we get fired up. It's, it's, just, it's just an example of what would be a great litmus test, would be this <laughs> okay. fake scenario where people yeah. are like, are like white power, right? And like, it's just not how, even how a fake feel, litmus test. Let's right? say you were at the Charlottesville uh, March. I, I say mm. March because that's <laughs> what I want to do. Um, uh, that's the one where Heather Heyer uh, died of a heart attack, I believe. Um, and that man went to jail for for uh, for running her over. Um, at that one, there were <laughs> Kyle's the, uh, trigger me. <laughs> it's not hard. At that one, there were a lot of uh, um, there were a lot of, a of people there who were screaming white power and and carrying those tiki torches, which is right out of those like videos I've seen from like Berlin, you know, with the torches when they were like all walk like like it's 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 like whoa. Okay, so but I'm... I guarantee there were guys there who were like I don't know more like me who just wanted to see what was going on. Like, like I, I hear a march is going on. I'm like, who? But let's say, <laughs> let's say, let's say, like some, like, here. um, let's say people rolled up on me, like, or walking down my street with tiki torches, and they were like, white power, mm -hmm. and I were there. I would, in my head, I would be like, do they know? No way. How how could they know? No. You and don't. then I'd look at my door. And I'd be like, my mezuzah. I have the mezuzah on my door. Did they see really? it? Are they coming here for me? Yeah, every Jew does. I'm like, are they coming here for me? Like, that's what I would think. So I'm white that I'm like, I can walk with them. I'm walking with them. I, how would they know? But if they saw my door, then I'd be like, maybe they did know. So I I'm only, like, dude, I'm 100% white. And I, I, and I, and I the love only it. Jewish, the I only love outward, it. <laughs> the only outwardly Jewish thing about you is your name. I mean, you're like a big, tall, athletic 
guy who, who like, yeah and, and i don't mean that in, last in a bad way but like how many like nba right. starting jews are there right like uh, i mean maybe it's because they've got better things on their mind or there might be something to the, the that that jews just on average aren't the most athletic bunch i went into a sex store today <laughs> doesn't sound <laughs> relevant but it is and I went into a sex store no, I'm in. and um, grabbed a couple stuff. And um, this little Chinese woman came out and she was like, oh, OK, you get in this. And I was like, yeah. And I like I was just like uh, she was like, are you paying cash? And I said, uh, oh, I, I didn't know it was a Chinese person that owns this place. Because if I knew that, I would have brought cash because Jews know. That if Chinese person owns it, and Chinese people know that if a Jew pulls up, it's like, hey, pay cash, you don't pay taxes. Mutual. Not, I don't do that. Why would I do that? That's a bit. It's a joke. But let's just say it. Okay, this <laughs> is a bit. <laughs> this okay? happens in but Minecraft. You, yeah. So if you roll up on like a like a, a Chinese business, as a Jew, you know, you offer the cash first. You usually, don't pay the taxes. So she was like, oh, do you have cash? I was like, I didn't know. I'm like, my bad. I'm Jewish, and as per the New World Order secret agreement between the Jews and the Chinese, I know that we're not going to pay this government right now. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if I knew that it was you, I would have, I would have, I would have brought. You know, cash, Harley. But I didn't know. You're really, she, you're really. Wait, she goes, she goes, you're Jewish, and I was like, yeah. She goes, you're so big. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish people are never this big, and I was like, you're a Chinese woman, and you own the sex store. And she's like. No Chinese women only own, own sex stores. She's like, only me. I'm a crazy Chinese woman. Y'all that all this, all this is like in, in like, you know, English is her third language. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and you're like, yeah, and I'm a giant Jew. What of it? Give me that dildo. <laughs> How did you? I'm not paying tax on that fucking. You know what dildo. I thought you were gonna say? I, I didn't think it was gonna be taxes. I thought there was gonna be some bargaining to be done. I thought you were gonna like whittle her down <laughs> for that for that pocket pussy. You ain't ever <laughs> gonna no. bargain. You ain't ever gonna bargain with the Chinese person. Notice I didn't take the low right. hanging fruit and say Jew her down for the. For the... <laughs> hey, <laughs> went Hello, right back to it. I get double credit. The bank so. him right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's the one. <laughs> which I wonder which banks are. Never mind. You know I don't, I, know. I don't get it. You make your own bank then. His name well, no, no, I'm not, that's Israel of the Jews. Right, that's so. a place for that's Jews. how I'm conservative the I land am. is Jew land. That's not what I'm saying. That, that wasn't what I meant when I said that. <laughs> that's where yeah. Taylor and I differ is on the support of Israel because I'm I'm of the mind that like the more money they have, the the more bad people end up dying probably. So like like I I I love that movie um, Munich uh, about when Black September uh, went and kidnapped those Israeli athletes at the Munich Olympics, killed them. And then Israeli Mossad was like, who planned it? Who came up with the ideas? Who showed up with the fuel? Who, who made that bomb? Who's, what's his cousin's name? His cousin made that bomb? Yeah. What's his cousin like to do? Where's he at right now? Let's go cut his throat. And they just like got them all. They got them all. I mean, it's a good movie. Eric Bana stars in it and a bunch of other people. And How old is it? Went... 2000, 2000 something. It's yeah, a short something movie. Like, like it, it, it won't be like lost in time. Oh, well, it, but it's a thing. It's a period you know, piece. It's about the seventies. So we're talking not about the from nineteen seventy nine or anything stupid like. No, that. it's a two thousands yeah. movie about. Yeah, it's a great movie. Thing. It's a good one. So love uh, it. Is the, it required the, viewing for you guys? Yeah. Were you? Did you watch it in school? I assume. At you went to Jew school. Yeah. <laughs> No, you think Jew school, school? Jew school happens when you're an adult, and it happens at night in the shadows. <laughs> and well, if you, you guys saw the movie, guys, listen, listen. You know, it doesn't matter how powerful you are. If you talk poorly about my people, you will be removed from the banks. You will be put on a list. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it. it. <laughs> we move silently and secretly, disguised as white people. We're your <laughs> as, neighbors. As we are your fucking HOA, Kyle. That's we true. are your homeowners it's association. Probably, true. probably true. that's got to be one. Um, no. but the thing is, when I was talking about the the firearm stuff, like I think like people in Ukraine, like they owned firearms, did they? There's like, tons of guns yes. in Ukraine right Absolutely. now. So like you, but you, but you had like you had firearms. Like I think like like the thing is like listen, let's just say that let's say the Nazis are making a comeback. Mm -hmm. Let's say Nazis are gathered. Let's just Jew oh, hate is on the rise. People are saying like, that. Now's a good time. Lots of people to have a firearm. Nice. I miss him. 
<laughs> the New York Times. That was good. You could do them also. If 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 Taylor wasn't just like a ten on. I used to do it. the voices, and then Taylor got the job, and now I don't do them anymore because he's so goddamn <laughs> like, good. I was the fish guy. <laughs> I was the nine out of ten. Yeah, that's not good enough anymore. <laughs> Oh, estimates of a number of guns from 2020 was uh, 2 million registered and 3 to 5 million unregistered. When you're like invading a country and they got 5 million guns, that's like a big deal. That's like you're like you're a 19 year old Russian kid. You're going to open this door. The guy has a gun. He has a gun. I'm just saying, imagine, imagine like Jews had guns like in 1939. Like, would things be different? But things played different. Probably not. But like, would think, they be? I don't think so. As, because because they, it, it slows so, shit down. It's it was a step at a time, right? They came there like ah, it's incremental. You mm-hmm. guys need to all wear something. We can pick you apart. And hey, label your businesses. And actually, you pay True. this tax. They pay that tax. True. Hey, Gradual. This, this law applies to you. But now. there was one mm-hmm. night. There was one specific night where shit literally hit the fan. The crystal the night, night. broke. Yeah, the the mm-hmm. night of broken glass. Mm-hmm. And that's the one where it's yeah. like, guys, we gotta take go. Out your, take out your guns. They're oh, coming no. for our gold teeth. Take out your and guns. That would have been. We got to go. Harley laid it out in a in a really impactful way for me, where he was like, "Never again." You gave this "never again" speech, where you're like, "Hey, you know, the thing happened to us in the 1930s, and we didn't fight back like we should have. We didn't fight back with the intensity or the ferocity that the situation required." And now we look back on that and we say, "Never again." And Jews have become fighters now, and they nip that shit in the bud. And uh, I was like, so anyway, this ties into what you're saying. Like, get your gun, nip that shit in the you butt, know what? never like, again. The thing is, I, I really think like, and I, I'm not trying to make a political statement. I think like it's so crazy what's going on in the Middle East and stuff. Israel's like a fucking wild ass country. They And I know a lot of people feel one way about it or another, but like they play it up in a particular manner. But that's like a country like, like those people would give up the land like the like the Israeli government would give up that land at the same time that the U.S. would ever revert back to native land, which right. means that would never happen. Or give Alaska back to Russia. None of that would ever happen. And I just know, like, just how it is. Like that country is like just it's just like a wild ass fucking dangerous country. Like in terms of like decisions and abilities and like what they can do and like the, the scenario they're in, it's just like, right. a, it's like a, a wild animal constantly backed up against the wall. Um, so uh, yeah, like, I mean, I'm always like, I'd like, yeah, like a firearm. I get it. You know I mean? The Nazis came back and started rounding us up. I guess I'm shooting someone and getting shot. No, I you guess. can blend. You can play. Oh, yeah, yeah you have the special I think, ability. I think I wouldn't. I think I've seen Schindler's List way too many times to be like, yo, bro, are we either do it now or I'm going to have my skull run over by a fucking tank lined That's up with all of you on the floor. List. I remember in Seinfeld <laughs> when, when it's when like it's they're like, you haven't seen Schindler's let, List yet, Jerry? You've got to go see it. <laughs> you No, Jerry, go see it. And then he, and for whatever reason, he couldn't sleep or whatever. Oh, he's making out. He got caught making out with his girlfriend in there, and and, and then got told on. It was a whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's that had to have been required viewing for 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 a Jew. I love Shino's list. I mean, that's hey. just because I mean it's made by a really phenomenal director. Um, I guess. But you know, it's like a crazy story, crazy thing. Uh, and the pianist was really crazy, also in terms of just like Holocaust porn. Oh, the pianist. That's, yeah. I'm getting <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Huh. Well, I'm getting, Brody? getting canceled Brody, for right? that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That yeah. uh, but like uh just we got some wild shit going on in the Middle East. And like these days, I just I'll tell you one thing. Like humans, all of us, we're just crazy, man. We're all crazy. Every single one of us. Uh like I mean, like like when you whenever I said before, like I don't talk in groups of people, I'm never like the Jews this or the blacks that, or well, I do say the Chinese. Yeah. Um, I do have one comfortably. I have one. I shouldn't even say it. Forget it. Um, but <laughs> I was going to say I have one statement that I'm comfortable saying that is somewhat racist. But then I thought that the, uh, that it would come off racist. Probably even, even though you, it the is way racist. You framed it, you know. Now, I, I yeah. think it might. Yeah. What well, was the statement going to be? I'll tell you. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather have some spooky <laughs> things to watch for Halloween this season? For me, in my experience hmm. with Chinese people, yes. 
Sounds so bad right off the bat. Okay. No, I want everyone to know that I actually, yeah. I actually, I love Chinese cuisine. I like Chinese culture. Not a fan <laughs> of the government. I like your I'm food is the ultimate go to of the racist. It just got I... so much worse. But please, <laughs> where, where the does food, this? Though. The food that, that I'm talking it? about is not anything that you've ever eaten, by the way. Would you eat a Panda Express is not Chinese food? Right. Well, it is, but it's not. But I'm not talking about that. When I said the food, I'm talking about like, uh, shit that you you just you don't like it you don't want it you do you do you should it's good for you actually it would help you but anyways back to this uh it's not new it's not a plate of shiny ass fucking chicken nuclear beef like on a fucking plate um but uh i do like i mean like china's interesting china's an interesting place all that but what i've noticed about chinese people Mm. is um and the reason why I said it's going to come off racist because there's a trope. There's a common racist trope of Asians, and I am not making that reference at all. That is not what I'm referencing when I say that Chinese people eat almost everything. All that. Yeah, I hyped it up a lot. I yeah, you hyped that up right? pretty big. Right? But I still wanted to make it clear because I, think I understand the connotation. There's, there's, in there's this the trope, age. the trope that like, oh, you're saying Chinese dogs and cats. Dog. That's and rats, what you're yeah. saying. I was yeah. thinking bats is what he was. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Pangolin. Right? You're blaming like, him for COVID. That's what no. I heard no. it. I heard him too. <laughs> what are you gonna we, do now? This is the moment where I'm telling this you that my Chinese people food? take credit. <laughs> it was us the whole. Time. We did it through the news. Might have been. Breaking headlines: Jews admit to COVID. Thanks you guys work really. together <laughs> with the Chinese. It does make sense. I think you guys did like, handle it particularly well. Mm-hmm. Eating, eating at a table with Chinese people, I know something. So I'm sitting there, and a fish comes to the table, and they put the fish down, and then they hack off mm-hmm. the fish head. Okay. It's disgusting, right? In the garbage. No, goes to the oldest woman at the table, the best part, and then cheek. I proceed to see her eat eyeballs, brains, and cheek. The fish's eyeballs, brain, and cheek, and she loves that it, was- and it's lit, and that's the best part. And I'm just like, <laughs> damn. It's They're a delicacy. Really the cheap, uh, I, I've seen. I've done. I've had hot pot. They are very people. poor people. I've seen meat fall on the floor, and they pick it up and put it in the hot pot. I'm down. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But I saw my video. family. My family wouldn't do that, and a lot of people that I know, they're not comfortable with that. So I oh, did that during what? the last hangout, and everyone talked about it. <laughs> I saw. I saw a, a lady who was in China who ran a Chinese restaurant i guess they all are and uh and, and she's <laughs> and the way their the way their sewer works you can like lift up a grate and there's this like the water's like flowing through and uh she's down there skimming the oil off the top of the the the, the sewer water that's from because you know it goes down the drains from the restaurant so she's skimming it all up to cook with and this lady's recording her screaming at her in i don't know chinese you know, you're horrible. You're horrible. You're going to feed this to people. And he's like, ah, mind your own business. And she just keeps scooping the fucking oil. Hey, what? not so close after my statement. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you what I saw. Too much, you're, too fast. you're making all sorts of crazy, broad paint <laughs> swaths of a paintbrush. It took me like a entire race of over a billion proud, hardworking <laughs> people. A great man once told me that anytime you're referring to a group of people, you're probably mm. being racist. Yep. <laughs> what yep. were you saying, Harley? I took nine minutes to basically hype up something that's racist, and then it probably ended up being like a point eight on ten on the PKA racism. <laughs> How scale. can you tell when a white man's being racist? His mouth is moving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> it worked for lots of things. Was the lady reusing that oil though? Is that what you were getting at? She, she was, was cooking with it? that oil. That was to cook the food in her restaurant for the people. Now, if you think about it, no matter how putrid that oil is, like, like literally, like shit in it. It's going to be heated up 350, 400 degrees. Germs will not survive. Maintain that, but still, that's disgusting. Yes. There's got to be chemicals, Sounds right? Gross. It's China. God knows we're going to, like, <laughs> I don't know, lead, cadmium, heavy metals, crazy shits in there. Anthrax. Like, we're not just worried about germs here. We're worried about, like, chemicals and poisons. We're, this is, we're going to have to eat this. I don't even use the water from my tap for my dog. I go to the filter on the sink. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> different standards i guess though i mean it, you said somebody was filming it was that maybe that was the filmed, american you know yeah well and there was an it was a chinese lady yelling at her like, like i'm sure that's not accepted common common practice that's fucking awful though oh okay <laughs> i was watching a thing about those um in the middle oh, east there's a couple of super projects proposed right now have you wait, seen before you go to super projects in the middle east one thing about chinese people i wanted to share really quickly and another thing <laughs> <laughs> 
Another thing about the Chinese. Okay. I went to a Chinese doctor, like a, a, a just a, a doctor who is a Chinese man. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like a special. It's like literally like a Chinese doctor for Chinese people. It's like kind of like acupuncture and bullshit like that. Okay. Which worked <laughs> out very well for me. Um, so I went to go see him. And what was interesting it was when I was taking in his office on the wall was uh, in Chinese, but and also in English translated, it was a uh, senior discount. 85 plus. And I thought that was very telling of the culture. 85 plus. And it's true. I see 80-year-old Chinese people, and they're walking and talking, and they're holding bags, and they're doing shit, and they're active, moving people. They are full human beings, completely operational at 80 (laughs) years old. However, you go to the U.S., you get the senior discount at 65 plus. 55, 60 years old. 55, depending on where you're at, it could be 55, senior discount. Relax, Any buddy. Game, You've man. done almost enough. done. China, you're 65, <laughs> bitch. You got 20 <laughs> years left. Keep working. And another thing, when you're when you when you have a bar mitzvah, you become a man that's at 13 years old. Mm-hmm. Like Chinese celebrate 100 days. 100 days. 100 day year old baby. You did it. You're a person. Get a job. <laughs> Hit the fields. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Let's go. Get up. Walk. Do it. Chinese people, uh, like the the culture is obviously extremely different. And I used to take offense to some of the things. Like if you hold, I held the door open all through university and no Chinese person said thank you to me. And I was always like, wow, so rude. No, yeah. they're just like, bitch, I never asked you to. I can do that myself. Yeah, that's rude. Where I come matter. from, we open our own fucking door. Didn't ask you to do it. Glad you did it. Sure. I'm not thanking you for it. In fact, I wish you never opened the door for me again. That is true. They never expected it or anything like that. Um, and that is my experience of Chinese people, the ones that I, I encountered a- only at school. <laughs> Not I, all I, Chinese I, people. I, I held the door in New York one time. The guy looked at me kind of weird, too. I will say that. He was like, yeah, yeah I waved like at a stranger in New York City. <laughs> I waved at a guy, and he crossed the street and looked at me all the way down the rest of the road. And the guy that right, was well, That's weed weird. With. You wave at a guy. And well, like, okay. Hold on. <laughs> when I say wave. Let me correct it. It's, like, the like, you want? it's the southern thing. It's like the we made eye contact and I did a little, you know, like just a little what's up, you know? Nah, yeah, just nah. a little. And yeah, he was you like, look, you look nods. like you could have. I, I, you look like a person that like I would have been like, oh, do I know that guy? You have that face. You're like, Pretty you're funny, like you know? default. Does that skinhead character. have a fucking problem? I have Bieber hair at this point, <laughs> oh, thankfully. I would have like, understood if I looked like this and he crossed the street. But back then I had Bieber hair. So, uh, and, and I was smoking weed with some random dude that was at Occupy Wall Street. And he was like, why did you just wave at that guy? I was like, I don't fucking know, man. We're, we're like, human. I'm high. You know, I'm like, high, I, bro. yeah, I made eye contact with him. He's a person. I'm a person. I threw my hand up a little bit. Like, hey, man, what are you doing? He was like, nah, bro, you don't do that in New York City. That dude thought you were trying to mug him. No, but you what do that fuck? in Seattle. Well, he in probably Seattle, didn't people, mug him. He, he thought it was people weird will say hi back to him across the street, though. Maybe he thought I was winking or something. You know, he just straight up took it the wrong way. He straight up crossed all the way across the road, kept walking and watched me all the way. I was like, okay, people my bad. People will say hi to you in Seattle if you say that there, by the way, I noticed, because I was walking in Seattle and people said hi. People walk. I saw other people walk by other people, and they said hi. Hawaii also. People say hi to each other. People are chilling Hawaii away. People, like, like they, they do that New York at each other. and Philly are these little microcosms of of shitty rudeness. That that yes. I, I mean, I, I bet in Detroit, if you're like, "Hey, man, what's up?" You probably don't get fuck off, honky. But in <laughs> <Yeah>, Philly, <right. laughs> you said you know, your dad. Fair, you, you called him to wish him happy birthday. Does your like? Does he say I love you? Do you say I love you to him? And does he um, say I love you back? Thank you. Love you. Halfway, I said I loved him, and he didn't return it. <laughs> okay, no, no, I want, I have that in my family too, not with my dad, but my grandfather. <laughs> what did he say? Anything? Did he say like, I appreciate that, son. <laughs> I, I good luck I think, in your endeavors. This I think he said it was. Whatever it was as we be. were saying goodbye. So I was like, I love you, dad. Bye, and he's like, bye. <laughs> yeah, no, this happened. Uh, to my yeah, grandfather, keep it I real, swear. son. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I say to my grand, I'll be like, he'll call. I'll call him. I'll be like, yeah. He's like, okay, and I'm like, okay, love you, and he's like, yeah, bye. <laughs> and I'm like, I think it's I'll- hard for him. And I it's think hard for he, me too. I think he cringes really? when I say yeah. it to him. What are y'all afraid of? Dude, it is not you, no, no, I think it's a generation. I think it's a generation thing. My dad is all, about to be 70 years old. And I say, Dad, I love you so much. You are my favorite person. And he's like, well, hot world. dog, son. I love you too. Come That's exactly lap, what he now. says. Well, hot dog, son. <laughs> he should, exactly he should hit it back, Han. Well, he should just yee-haw, hit you with either of you Let me get my banjo. Dad, I love you. You are among my favorite people. He should say, 
you're also top five around here. Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> just no, leave no, it there. No. I tell him <laughs> or, he's my or just I person. know. <laughs> yeah. So Kyle, you say I love you. Oh, there Wait, he goes. What happened this there? He had to call his dad. See, he's <laughs> he's, he's got to be like dad. Oh, you won't believe him. They don't. Oh, I don't believe here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Kyle, when you say I love you to your dad, he says, mm -hmm. I love you. That's how it is with my dad as well. Every time we every my dad time too. I every time okay. I part company or hang up the phone with um a loved one, I tell them I love them and they tell me they love me. Because Same. you never know when it's the last time you're what about speak grandfather to your though? Like is he I dead? I uh yeah, my grandparents have been have been Aww, dead for a long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, how about grandpa's dead? Oh, how, about, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, how, about, how about grandpa Irvin? Is he still I'm, knocking around? I'm six feet tall, but 12 feet taller than your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so fucking mean. It's great. <laughs> no, seriously. Rest in peace to them. <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously, no disrespect, no disrespect, yeah. <laughs> uh, was, no disrespect. No, but they say I love you back to you? Because it's my grand. My yeah. dad says it, my grandfather doesn't. Yeah, when my grandmother was dying, that was the last thing she said to me. She was all jaundiced up, and she had turned, like, almost orange because her liver had shut down from the cancer. Mm. And, uh, and you know, the surgeries and stuff because she had fought for so long. But that was the my last joke, thing she told me. My joke she, is terrible now. Okay. She was she all she the she looked like a bird. She was like eighty pounds by then. But her, her her little mouth was all stretched out and parched. And she said, "I love you, Kyle. I love you. Wow. You're my number one grandson. It was our only grandson. So <laughs> I always what tell about Colin your, he's my man, favorite son. grandfather. Though I say my it every day. <laughs> my grandmother held it down. She said it. She always said it until she died. Also, but it's the grandfather that was the one that was like, shut up, fuck. <laughs> it was funny you mentioned grandpa because like my like there's been plenty of stories about my my country farmer grandpa on this show and like my grandma is miss like i love you i love you like me and my dad obviously every time i hang up the phone with my brothers or like my brothers leave my house or anything love you like always with my grandpa like it's so ingrained in me to like say i love you at the end of like a phone call with family but he's the only one that like isn't a hundred percent because like i'll be like you know all right see you later grandpa i love you and he'll be like mm -hmm. just I kind of like, a, mm -hmm, or like a, see you a later bit? no it's him it's he's from that generation mm -hmm. of like and like he didn't have like fucking running water as a kid he didn't have a lot yeah. of stuff and so yeah. like for him he was he was, in the he was wars. Telling, we were actually we were down those men at, couldn't i don't think those men had that luxury i don't no. think they had the luxury exactly. of being like soft yeah. enough to tell mm -hmm. their sons they love him now like mm -hmm. maybe our dads like 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 Maybe they don't have quite as much excuse, but unfortunately, they were raised by those guys who didn't have a choice. And it's only us that are like, ah, yeah, you can suck a dick and tell your kids you love them, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he'll he'll tell stories about, like, what his dad was like to him. Because, like, he was just, like, a mm -hmm. kid working on a farm. And he was like, this is just last time I was there, like, a couple weekends ago. He was talking about stories. And he's like, yeah, I was 11 years old or so. We're putting fence posts in on grand or daddy's property. And I was railing one in and missed took all the skin plumb off the top of my hand and i my, my father he was you know 50 yards that way i said son of a bitch we hold my hand and he looked up he was a christian man he said what the hell did you just say <laughs> and he walked over there and he said i'll tell i'll give you something to say son of a bitch about and he he plum near took my head off he beat the shit out of me and i was like Seriously? jesus christ God. grandpa and he's like right. and my grandma was like yep that is true he, his father was very rough on him well, he, he objected to your cursing with what the hell isn't that like yeah so he, he objected to son of a like bitch child uh yeah like he would like my grandpa got smacked around like he he didn't say bad bad word like that's the level of like his household it was like tear up your hand but you say son of a bitch like that's not flying in this christian household phil that yeah. blows me but, away that he could say what the hell it's like son of a bitch the fuck kind of language you use it yeah is, is actually, the, the way the way my grandpa hell. said it is he's like he came over there and he said what the hell are you doing saying son of a bitch except he didn't say hell and he didn't say bitch and because like he was uh -huh. one of those guys who's like i'll kill you and your whole family you son of a gun like, that. <laughs> <You're> like a, <laughs> you rascal! Oh god, he, he means it. He said, "Son of a gun." He he said, Son of a gun. So Taylor, your grandfather had no running water. 
No, for a long time they my my grandma didn't either. They lived guys, in like very rural southern Missouri. Bernie Sanders, what is that? Some Jew? No. <laughs> not gonna do that. Dude, it's not the Jew. We had a black thing. man run the country. Now we're gonna have a Jew. Yeah, right. That, Let's make America he's he's great socialist. again. Rich man. He so I I'm not surprised. You know he, what I mean? I, I'm he's, from like the middle of that country area and like just from talking to my grandparents about it, it's not They've never mentioned the Jew thing ever. I don't think they give a shit. And they live in southern Missouri. But yeah, like rednecks really don't even don't know what Jews like, are. Yeah, they don't care about the Jew <laughs> thing at all. For real. They couldn't care any less. They're like, I'll be like, hey, that, that's a Jewish temple. And they'll be like, I don't the, give a fuck. And it's the, like, all right. Like, <laughs> only reference, that's it. I, all right, all right. The only reference I had about, about Jews at all, like growing up, was my grandmother was very religious and and she and she had this magnet on her refrigerator that said my god is a jewish carpenter or something like that and uh and, and you know and, and that and she was always very pro israel you know those are god's chosen people etc cetera, etc cetera. and she always she always talked about that a lot um so that was the, i never had this idea of the of no. um, uh, uh, of anti-semitism at they all they hate the socialist part they hate that but the jew part doesn't play into it all at least from the from what they've explained to me, them and their fellow elderly people's opinions. Yeah, I, I didn't understand why someone would discriminate against. I was like, but, but why? Like, like that's like discriminating against gingers or something. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, why? Why, why are you? And then I met Harley, and I, I understood right away. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I see. It's it. now I see. final solution. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like, give me your money. Give me your fucking money. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, no, no, it's true. Like, uh, yeah, obviously Jews have been hated for a long time across history. Why do you think that uh, is? Uh, cause they're fucking greedy. Obviously it's because <laughs> it, it's because traditionally they've been in the money lending business and usury as it, as it was known has, has long been sort of a forbidden thing that, you know, I have my own theory. No, this is, yeah? this is true. This is a good explanation, <clears throat> Kyle. I know it's, it's the, it's, it's the explanation. Yeah. Keep going. It, I'm, Oh, it, it's 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 that they were in the money lending business, and that was a a, a thing that that was considered low class. It, it was not a thing to do. It it, it was it, you were, they were looked down upon because of that. And many areas it was of seen as shameless, I think. Yeah, and it was during the Roman times where they got assigned that job, right? Where they were like, ah, well, everybody's going to hate this guy. Let's make a Jew do it. Um, I don't know about that, but I, I know that usury. Uh, it, it, I, I've always considered to be the core of it. That and that you know, it's a tight knit population that kind of. Uh, inter keeps the money within that population and often doesn't, uh, you know, in, especially in European countries like Germany. That's where I was headed. Um, uh, like right now, I, my bank isn't a religion at all. Like, it, it, like my, I don't, my bank doesn't have a religion. Like Wells Fargo, what is it? Christian, Jewish? Like, I don't know. It's, it's a company is what it is. And then I feel like... Mad up in there. Mad Jews touching your money. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Every day they go in there and they go into your account and they touch all your money. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> just for um, the sake of it, just kind of just. But you I, know that I, smell I that pennies that, have? That's juice spit. I think that what the reality is <laughs> is that Jewish people sometimes don't meld. Like they, 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 culturally, they make it a priority. To, what are you guys Oy doing? Vey. <laughs> culturally, they make it a priority to like sort of keep it within themselves, right? I, I, growing up, because I, I I grew up with a lot of Jewish people. I don't think you guys did. But in New Jersey, I did. Okay, I knew you did. a good number of Jewish people. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know how many bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs I've been to, like a bunch. Too many. And, uh, um, but like, if you thought a Jewish girl was cute, she couldn't date you. Like that, that was not on the table in Jersey. Yeah, and and um, they they, yeah, you wouldn't date a Gentile, and you certainly certainly wouldn't marry one. And uh, <laughs> at least in the Northeast, they work hard to keep. You know the community kind of separate and isolated and keep that alive they they're not interested in being melting they're interested in you know more of a salad than a melting pot and i think that that is part of where the you know the probably a bagel on the side if we're being honest right, right. but if you look at like the irish culture the italian culture the english culture whatever they all just sort of melt in and turn into whatever but the jewish culture remains intact well you know what i think as a Jew and someone that has thought about it a lot, I think you're both right in that sense, is that there have been times when, like, you know, a lot of problems throughout history, the, the first thing that will be the problem is money. And then you look at the people that are involved in the money and just 
through history, like Jews have been good with money. And to this day, they're still good with money. You know what I mean? Like I like, you know what I mean? Like I, I look at like some of the best accountants in my city and like, yeah, like a lot of them are Jewish names. You know what I mean? And like, so it is a money thing. You know, even like in Germany, it was like right away when things started to go bad for, for Germany, it was like, oh, well, look who's touching all the money, the Jews. So that's how all this got messed up. All the Jews were touching money. Take all their money, take all of their gold. Let's let's figure this out. Let's control the Jews. And you know what I mean? Like it starts there. And then after that, you know, because before that, you know, a lot of people could be secluded in their areas. But, you know, now is like, you know, when I come to the USA, I notice one thing in, in the States, it's like you are in America now. This is America. You know, you start your day off in the classroom. You pledge allegiance to the flag like there's nothing similar to that in Canada. In Canada, you have like, you know, where I'm from, there's like, you know, there's like, uh, like Irish people, Italian people, Greek, uh, big Haitian population, and everyone is who they are. And we don't look at them and be like, yo, you're all Canadian now. If you're going to be here, you're going to be Canadian. And I think after, and I, I, I'm getting a little sidetracked, but like between Canada and the USA, like that's a difference. Like Canada is a mosaic. USA is like a melting pot, but Jews, wherever they are in the world, we're talking about like a group of people that, you know, have a, a culture that is ancient and has been around for so long. And then we got to this point in life not too long ago where they went from like a big portion of the population to like less than 2% of the population or 0.2% of the population. So it got to a place where not only were Jews like uh, uh, an ancient culture and something that's been around for so long, we also almost lost all of them. We literally almost wiped out all the Jews out of all of existence. So after, yeah, 0.2% of the world population, after the Holocaust, what happens is, and, and like you're right, like Jews don't date outside of Jews. I do, and I would, and I would marry a non-Jew. I would go on on love above all but what happens is growing up i went to jew camp and it's really interesting because if you think about concentration camps where like hitler's taking jews in in carts and murdering them in mass now jews have summer camp jew camp we're literally like i've gone to jew camp and i've, I've been there for years and you go and you're jewish boys jewish girls and you know, you do this whole Jewish culture thing, but what happens is, you know, you're 15 years old, the Jewish boys are over here, the Jewish girls are over here, and your adults at night, like your supervision, are like, all right, we're we're uh, we're going out for the night. Don't you kids go fucking each other. And then they leave, and it's literally like, you go to Jew camp, you learn how to finger girls in the woods, you get your first hand jobs, you get your first blow jobs, all Jewish boys, Jewish girls, you're probably gonna get a blow job from a Jewish girl and be like, that was the greatest ever. I love that girl and I'm gonna marry her. And like, it's literally the, the undertone of Jew camps is to have Jews breed with Jews, to make more Jews because we've lost so many Jews in, in killing camps, let's make Jewish fuck camps. And literally Jewish summer camp is like, I remember very clearly when I was like 16 years old, I was like saying to my friends, I'm like, yo, you got to come to Jew camp. And they're like, why? I'm like, because if you like a girl and she doesn't like you, she's trapped. And eventually she will like you because there's no one else to like. Yeah, because there's the like such a small <laughs> the implication. You, you're going to get hand jobs for sure. And literally like, it, it's like, that's what jew camp is to have jewish boys meet jewish girls and make more jewish babies but like that's a lot of what a lot of camps are though but i don't feel like when i went to camp as a kid even if it was like religious or that they split the girls and boys up i guess they never the the leaders never would leave us alone long enough that we could just go have a fucking orgy in a tent with a bunch of jewish people i guess but <laughs> i mean it, it, i think that's part of what camp is but that does make sense I, it's almost like a conspiracy that like a conspiracy well, to get killed to fuck. No, I so, went to Christian camp. There was no fucking at all. There was they, they watched us like Christians. hawks. They don't want you to fuck at Christian I, camp. There's plenty of you guys. Jew camp. They're like, don't go fucking each other. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> got laid. No one. I don't know. Anyone even got kissed at that camp. It was impossible. You were never without supervision. It, well, it was certainly harder, but like you could. 
Hell of blowjobs at Jew Camp, Woody. You how do I get into? Uh, I, I, all right, all right. I've, I've heard yeah, enough. How, how do I, how do I get into one of these fucking Jew yeah. camps? Kyle, <laughs> you don't look like a Jew. I, if I, oh. oh please, I could pull, I could pull off Jew. I, I, I totally. All could. I gotta say, you gotta. Can you pull off Jew if you drop your pants? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. I would say, just give yourself a little snip. You're good to go. But with all that in mind, that's where this like, I Dubs, and his wife. Just took mm -hmm. out this Sam shit on Froggy Fresh, who's just some like you know singer who's training to do their dumb charity boxing thing, yeah. and then all of the other fucking boxing slash creators start defending that shit, and it annoyed me because I hate when celebrities protect each other's shitty, e fragile egos and shitty uh, decisions. Was know? it mostly? It's another Har It's another Harvey Weinstein. It's an, it's exactly what? like Harvey Weinstein. Froggy exactly got raped like by Idub's wife, and Harley's defending it. He's covering mm -hmm. it up. Yep, Harley Weinstein. Harley yeah. Weinstein. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if the night, if the names rhyme, if the names rhyme, he, he must do the crime. Time. Oh, and the, and the criminal Weinstein makes his way in. Feeding us an epic shit sandwich. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? Well, and did I ruin it? <laughs> did I ruin it? Uh, it was perfect. Um, it was perfect. Uh, I mean, Dick was just explaining to me that you're essentially Harvey Weinstein, and then we realized that your name, no, he your name, and, and, and we realized, hey, their their names rhyme. Ah, and 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 I realized they had you then, so I was mm -hmm. I, that. Yeah, I, they just now checkmated me, and I could no longer defend you, dude. Are you guessing it rhyme? No, or guess, because because as Taylor said, if Harvey the names Weinstein. rhyme, he did the crime. <laughs> it's so true. So <laughs> and then I and then I popped in. in. Yeah. Yes, yeah, then yeah. you popped yeah. in right as I <laughs> made the, that the Harley yeah. Weinstein yeah. joke. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so Dick has just been filling us with facts. <laughs> getting us abreast on this whole situation and from what i can tell about this this boxing it seems absurd that poor sam hyde or i'm sorry huh. poor froggy fresh poor, yeah. just from his affiliation with sam hyde a little bit of training just like you did is getting the boots so like is that this is that what's happening that doesn't seem fair to poor froggy yeah like you know <laughs> it's been so it's been so interesting for me because I've I've known every person in real life and I've never been in a scenario where I know everyone and I do think I dubs is cool and I do think Sam is cool. Uh but it seems like these days like I dubs just gets destroyed. Uh people are not team I dubs at all. Um and I'm like, I like when everyone was jumping on the whole froggy fresh thing and they're like, oh my God, like I can't believe this happened. They're like, what do you think? And I was like, I mean, realistically the best approach would to not be involved at all. But I was like, oh, I think uh, he talked, he made a joke about the, the creator who, who contracted him. So he got fired. Uh, and ever since then, I'm I'm the biggest OnlyFans simp, bitch, homo, idiot, retard. Like <laughs> I've been everywhere. Yeah. I have my DMs are filled with nose emojis. Yeah, I'm sorry about uh, that. <laughs> no, <it's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like those? It is. It is. Is your dude. DMs are full of nose? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's all witty. <laughs> like a Roman I, nose. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a <laughs> all right i don't like that <laughs> i like the joke that was great but but that i don't like that your inbox is full of noses <laughs> okay. so i saw uh last time i was on with uh dick i remember i was like i was feeling myself my hair was blue i was like always good <laughs> And then I remember, like, uh, I just felt like I came in here and my energy kind of leveled out to a, a specific place. And I feel like, you know, going into the fight, maybe I should have that. I was fighting all the people on Twitter. And Dick was like, just, I, I hadn't seen you on Twitter ever before. And then you came out there and the energy was like, I thought my energy was crazy. And I was like, whoa. And then I went to your no. timeline. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's crazy in here. I was like, let's go on PKA. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but you know, like, I mean, really it's the whole froggy thing. I, I really did. I had like a whole opinion on it and I, I still do. I have opinions on it, but like, I, 
I jumped in the subreddit, and this is where it's really weird in my life, is I went to the PKA subreddit, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be on. I'll oh, tell you guys boy. all about it. But you know what? Exactly, Woody. They were like, hey, Ben, we don't give a shit. Kill it at the show. Kill it on PKA. We don't, we don't care, actually. You're good. And that was 90% of the comments. Yeah. And I was like, damn. I'm like, I feel good mentally. I feel good physically. So that's a high point in my life. But... I should really stop and listen to the PKA subreddit right now because they're absolutely <laughs> yeah, they have they're, they're, they have more wisdom than I do right now. They got their finger and on I was like, and that's yeah. a little fuck so, it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And I actually was there and I was like, I can't believe they're they're being logical here. I'm not. Yeah. Um, Most people just don't care. Like you're just hearing from the people that give a fuck. I don't. Like I thought. I I'm glad the situation's happening because it's been a, a treat watching you and Dick fight for a while yeah. or you haven't been going at it it's a better <laughs> fight than any you'll see at creator clash right can we all agree on that <laughs> very true and it's free potentially i'm doing it yeah. for charity all Dude, my that you, was the you... one that was actually the one thing i wanted to bring up though actually to ask dick about and ask you guys about so like the fight is for charity and my thing i was like it's for charity it's a good thing i know it didn't work and i was kind of like it's for charity and I saw you were like, it's not. Shut the fuck up about charity. <laughs> you had said that on your Twitter. And yeah. I was I wanted your opinion more on that because not not like as if I have some argument that's a gotcha to that, but yeah. I always uh, I always was curious about yeah, anyways. Uh I think uh I think Anissa could take a joke about her OnlyFans for charity, if it's for charity. Like it's it's cool that people are going to put on a show for charity, but then if they're going to act like assholes, like that's not for charity. Uh, that's my take on it. So all the charity stuff, that's cool. But then they're like, well, yeah, and we're going to fuck over this small creator for like a tiny slight, which I think is more about Sam Hyde than OnlyFans. You can't say it definitely well, charged it. It definitely charged it. You know, I'm not I'm, I, I'm not a complete idiot. And, uh, you know, talking to Sam, talking to IW, I could tell that there's tension there. So it's definitely supercharged. And I was under the impression that Ian kind of told Froggy that. It was just like, hey, I don't have the best relationship with that guy. And uh, Froggy was essentially, uh, which is pretty gangster as hell. He was like, that sounds like a you problem. Um, <laughs> and I think so like that. And then you add the thing on Twitter. Maybe it all culminates to a point. And maybe there was other stuff behind the scenes. But I was just kind of like, you know, optically, it's a bad look optics yeah. wise because we're like you know everything you said yeah yeah the, the the thing that sort of sticks uh in, in the cross seems to be that i guess he had already received froggy had already received some initial payment for training or taking time off or something like that and they want that back yeah so you're salaried um to like i think it's 15 or twenty thousand dollars to to train with Mm -hmm. um so they give that to us and when i first got my contract i'm not allowed to talk about the contract but nobody that works creator clash will ever listen to pka like i see all the right. creators in it they don't they don't come here no. one of them even once was like uh yo harley who is this guy he has me blocked on twitter and i was like that's my boy taylor from pka Oh damn! Nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it actually happened. Get, hey. Oh no! Hey. <laughs> I've just um, been linking those emoticons in the chat. My DMs oh, are full of nice. notifications from you. <laughs> sending me noses. Uh, People but, send me uh, that if I'm I... sniffing too much on the show. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> that I, I, I get that meaning. My behavior, people are just like, yeah, maybe you slow down on the coke, buddy. I was like, when I was killing that, I was not filming myself. Trust me. <laughs> I last thing I wanted to do was get in on the camera and be funny. Um, but every time I go, I get crazy or like, so I've been, I've been, you, you were saying though, you get fifteen or twenty grand. Wow, for training. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so and they get, want that back. Well, so what happened? This is what I can't talk about, but I'm going to talk about. It. It's the contract when I got it last year for Creator Clash. I looked at it and I was like, this is the worst contract. I've ever got in in a like a social media scenario and I I brought it to my boxing coach and he was like that's a decent boxing contract that's how it works so you got a boxing contract for a boxing promotion looks like he's not treating you like a YouTuber me a YouTube legend you know how many views I had in 2012 <laughs> and he's going to give me this Billion. piece of shit paper mm -hmm. <laughs> So I, I like my lawyer was like, oh, yeah, that's a terrible contract. You can't sign that, you know, because should I have trained for four months and 
then hurt my thumb and can't fight, or if my opponent hurt his thumb and he can't fight and we can't get in the ring and do it, if we don't have, if we don't complete it, then I don't get the salary that I had for training. Mm. And that was a scenario I recognized and understood before I signed the contract, you know, like, um, I mean, I, I, so you improved your contract. I, I didn't, I, I looked at it and I was like, I called up IDubs. I was like, the other people signing this shit, like in <laughs> that guy from game grumps has tens of millions of dollars in his pocket right now. He's signing this, this piece of paper. <laughs> um, and I, and I asked and he was like, yeah, they're all signing. And he was like, listen, I'm not going to do anything weird. And if you don't want to sign it, I get it. And I was like, well, I want to be a part of it. So I signed what I thought was not a good contract okay. because it heavily favored the promotion. And that's something that's just a thing. That's part mm -hmm. of it in boxing. And so I was, you know, I'm not a boxer. I can't be like, I demand this or that. Like, you know, I'm still not a boxer. I'm going to fucking play pretend on Saturday, yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> and so it's, 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 it was something that I was aware of. So, <clears throat> Well, that I mean, makes sense. Like, if you can't show, like, they're counting on you, but they're the ones that ended the relationship with him, I guess, over his relationship with Sam Hyde. So he's on the hook oh, now yeah. for. I wonder. No, it, so they it would gave matter him... to me. It would matter to me to know how long he had that 15, 20 grand, let's call it, in his pocket slash bank account before they were like, ah, no, this isn't going to work. You, you talk to him and he talks to her and that ain't going to fly. And there's only fans fatty and no good. You're out. Like, well, like they how fronted long? him before he started training. They fronted him like fifteen grand of his twenty thousand dollar purse, and then sure. when they the Sam Hyde relationship came out, within twenty four hours he was booted, and they yeah. asked for the they threatened to sue the money. They threatened to sue him for the money within twenty four hours after that, and then somehow a bunch of the creators on the cards were saying, "Well, Froggy's stealing that money from charity." 